Hi there, this video is a follow-up video to an earlier one I did about creating a Google Slides Bitmoji escape room. Since creating this tutorial, I've figured out a way to, I think, improve the tutorial or the escape room experience, and that is to incorporate Google Sites and to embed the presentation into Google Sites. So all of the steps pretty much in the earlier tutorial still hold true. The only thing that's going to be different in what I'm about to show you is that instead of using Google Docs for the individual clues, like I talk about, oh, part of the way through, um, like here, instead of doing that, um, we're going to use Google Sites. So let's dive in and do that. The things that we're going to cover here is A, how to create a new Google Site, B, how to embed your slideshow into that site, three, or C, how to create clue pages using sites and then hide those from the main navigation instead of using Google Docs for your clues, and then four, how to share your site. So let's go ahead and get started. I am here in my Google Drive and I'm going to click on New and then I'm going to go more and I'm going to go down and select Google Sites. Now I was not familiar, um, I had not spent much time with Google Sites before kind of figuring it out for this escape room tutorial. If you haven't looked at it or you haven't looked at it recently, I think it's a really great, very intuitive way to create web pages. This is definitely what I would recommend if I was having students do a web page project. And it's also what I would recommend if you just need a really easy way to publish content to your students. But here we're going to focus on doing it just strictly within the escape room context. So I've created an untitled site. There's tons of customization you can do, but for this tutorial, we're going to keep it really simple. I'm going to call this escape room demo. Um, I'm going to put the same thing here. Um, can you escape? Question mark. And then I'm going to add some information below. So the first thing I'm going to add is just a couple of sentences about you know, the context or the story for this escape room. So to add anything in Google Sites, you just go down here to this blank area and you double click. And then it brings up this little menu. Um, it's also the same options that you see over here. And I'm gonna select text. And then here is where I would put story stuff. So, you know, you are locked in a room and you have to get out and whatever their initial directions would be. So like if you have a timer, you might say click on the timer and then try to escape, whatever it is. Your story stuff and your directions go here. And then the next thing we would do is we're going to embed the slide document that we've already created. So I have here a copy of one I've done. Um, so I have this already in my Google Drive and that's the one we're gonna embed. In order to do that, I'm gonna click down here below and I'm going to double click and select the From Drive option. And then, just to make it easy, I'm gonna search for the word copy because I created a copy. Obviously, you'd search for your own Google Slides escape room that you've already created. And I'm gonna double click on that to add it into the room. I'm gonna close this menu just so I have a little bit more room. And then I want this to be nice and big. I want it to fill the full screen. So I'm gonna drag it out until it is the full screen. And then, now that that's all done, Theoretically, I could be done at this point. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. One important thing to note when you are doing Google Sites, if you're used to doing slides or documents, in Google Sites, you do have to keep hitting publish. It sort of auto saves all your changes, but you won't see those changes on the live site until you hit publish. So that's something you may take a little bit of getting used to if you're used to sort of the auto saving capabilities in Google Slides or Docs. Um, but I'm gonna call this escape room demo. I'm just gonna add a little bit of verbiage to the end just for the sake of argument to make it. Um, the other thing that I am going to tweak is I'm going to turn off request public search engines do not display my site. More than likely that's what you're gonna wanna do if you're creating something for the classroom. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. And that's all there is to do to actually create a Google site, embed your slides escape room and publish it to the web. If I go to here to publish options and say view published site, I can see what this looks like. I can see that I have my little escape room here. Um, all of my little links are live. The beauty of this is I didn't have to do any crazy preview sharing settings for the Google Slides presentation. I did have to make them shareable, so viewable by anybody with the link here in the slides. I did have to make sure that I had the sharing settings set. Um, but once that was done, it 
publishes really nicely here into the escape room. So the last thing I'm going to show you here, the next thing, is how to create individual clue pages. Now this is where it gets a little bit different and why I really like using sites for this. Um, in the tutorial that I had before, um, I talked about using Google Docs for the individual clue pages and that absolutely still works. But when you do that, you have to tweak the sharing settings on each individual document and it can just be a lot of pages to wrangle. The beauty of doing this with sites is you can create some hidden pages inside your site and all of your links and everything is here kind of in the same document. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click on pages here on the right hand side and you can see I have my home page. I'm gonna add a new page and that new page is just gonna be called clue one, okay? Um, pro tip, don't have any spaces or anything in the name of this page. Your students are never gonna actually have to see this. It's just something you're gonna to use to create links. So you want it to be concise and you want it to have no spaces in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now here's the most important part about this is you'll notice when I created that by default, um, it sort of makes a link to clue one here on the homepage. You certainly don't want your students or your people to be able to click on that and get to that link. So the important thing to do is to click on the little three dot menu here and then say hide from navigation. Once that is done, then even though the page still exists, your students or your people doing the escape room won't find it before they find the appropriate clue here in your slideshow. So let's go back to this page. Now, obviously you don't just want it to say clue one, you need to put some content here. So I can change this heading to be anything I want. You find a clue. Um, and then maybe that clue is a riddle. So insert riddle here. There we go. Whatever your clue is or whatever you would put on a document from that other tutorial, um, that's what you're going to put here. Now, before I go any further, I need to publish my changes. Okay. And like I said, this is the one thing that's different about Google Sites. So currently published, it's going to bring up the screen. I'm going to say publish. Beautiful. Now I need to be able to take this particular site, this particular page and link it in my slides escape room. So I'm going to go here to my escape room demo. I'm going to refresh the screen just to make sure that I'm looking at the most up to date version. And then I need to pull the link for that hidden page. Easiest way to do that, in my opinion, is to go to the link that you have for the home page, take the word home, all of that content, and then change it for whatever that little title was you just created. So I did clue number one, that is the link that I'm going to copy and that I'm going to use here in my escape room. So you kind of have to create these at the same time, um, but I'm going to go here. I know that I want this particular paper to have the link in it. I already have one there, but just to show you how I did this, um, I'm going to paste the link to that new hidden page right here. I'm going to hit apply. Then I'm going to go back to my home page. I don't have to do any republishing because I didn't make a change to the site. I just made a change to the slide. I know it gets kind of confusing. So when in doubt, always republish. So we'll just do that again. Oops, there are no unpublished things to show. Perfect. It's not even going to let me do it to be safe. That's just fine. Um, and then I'm going to go again to view publish site. And notice it's taking me here to room one. I want to go back to home. Perfect. Now, you're going to notice it says you need access. That probably means that I don't have sharing turned on for my Google Slides. So you do need to turn on a little bit of sharing in order to make this work. So I'm going to go back to my Google Slides. I'm going to hit share. And then I'm going to change this to anyone with the link can view. And I'm going to say done. Once that is done, I should be able to go back here and refresh the site. Yep. And it is going to now make it available to play the game inside of this page. So I have my little page created. I have my story stuff. This link should take us to, yep, it took us to clue number one. I can close that out. Um, and you can add as many clues as you want. This is also the way if you wanted your escape room to like 
have multiple rooms or a house that somebody has to walk through, you could use this same concept of creating a bunch of hidden pages and then you could just po paste the links to each page, you know, in the results of your Google form or, you know, any place that you would want to have them navigate through. So that's the basics for doing hidden pages for your clues. The last thing I need to show you is just making sure you know how to share this out and we've kind of already talked about it. So you just want to make sure that when you're sharing something out to your students or whoever's completing the escape room, that this is the link that you pull and it's the one with home. Um, that's the one that is going to have, you know, your main content on it there. So there's a lot of things you can do with this, a lot of different ways you can play with it. I encourage you to have fun. Let me know if the in the comments if you have any questions um, or if there's anything else you want me to show you regarding escape rooms and Google Slides and sites and forms. If you haven't already done so, definitely look in the comments for this video on YouTube. Um, I'll have some other links as well to some tutorials and some different things as I get them created. So definitely check that out or let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.